Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more RimWorld Colony Area 51. The last episode marked a very important one, or at least the end of last episode, because today is going to be an exciting day for those who have been around since the beginning. We got a mission uh, not too long ago, an SOS Mathis actually answered as the others slept. Uh, now SOS was indicative of an old colony member, Greece, who had also been kidnapped the same day that Mathis was kidnapped and now they sit here. We can get there. It's it's going to be a hell of a hike. Two turrets and one enemy. So whatever is holding it there isn't holding it with much. Uh, so we're going to make sure, we have to make sure rather, uh, that we take out a bunch of friends that are good with guns. So Mathis is going one way or another. He is going and he has uh, no interest in not going, basically. He wants to make sure uh, he is there to rescue his, f his friend when the time comes. We are... Running a little low, we'll say we'll take 500 potatoes and 500 rice, uh, as well as, oh, maybe not, maybe 150, um, as well as a little bit of meds. We have a decent amount of them. Let's take all 25 of these. I guess not 25. Tw okay. I don't know why it's yelling at me. Oh, I can only take up to uh, t 35 kilograms here. So we'll take 10 meds. Um, as well as Mathis, uh, let's see. I don't think we're gonna take brains, but we'll definitely take Elbow, uh, go rescue their namesake. Happy, Diver, and I think we'll leave the rest home for now. Maybe we'll take Chaos as well. Yeah, let's accept that. We'll choose the route, we want them to go here. It's only 1.6 days. We'll choose that route, accept, and off they go. A day and a half to travel to rescue Greece is nothing for somebody who wants to rescue a friend. Uh, so once they bounce, we'll see how the... If you can hear that, I'm sorry. It's the sander. They're dropping some, uh, some salt or sand. We're supposed to get some snow tonight, so that's why that's happening. Um, anyway, off they go. I hope it goes well for them. If it doesn't, I'm going to cry, but let's see. They're going to wait at what? The corner here? Caravan request. A nearby settlement, Marlanka, contacts you with a special trade request. Purchase incendiary shells. I do not have enough incendiary shells. Off they go. So we'll worry about that later. Meanwhile, those who are left behind here, uh, one, two, just three folk, I believe, uh, are going to hopefully be able to manage while they're gone. Because it's only a day and a half of a travel, I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I mean, it's a heck of a walk, but it's not too bad. Unfortunately, Mathis did not get to see the unroofing ceremony happen. Um, we're about to head into summer as well. Even though he wasn't present for them for the past few years, not gonna be able to make it, make it this time. Uh, you know, duty calls, as it were. So we're gonna turn off all of our heat generators, I think, for now. And do we have a doctor on call? We do. Brains is home. He's a doctor. He can manage uh, Woodard. That's all I need. So as the sun uh, begins to rise on the, on the full first day of travel, and we look into the world, off they go. So they're only going to get to probably about here-ish before uh, the day comes to an end. So we don't have to really worry about them too much. We can just let the colony run. Tyspin is actually going to take up res uh, researching duties, funnily enough. But once Greece is back, um, we're going to need a room for them. We've been making a good amount of carpet. We should continue that. Let's actually go ahead and butcher this muffalo real quick. Just get this thing butchered so we have the meats, we have the skins that we can use. Uh, fur is also a big pickup here. He is, oh, making kibble, gotcha. For our animals, I guess. We don't really need it too much. Here, let's haul the blue fur. Not gonna, uh, hopefully he'll go about his own thing afterward. There we go. So I just want him to make sure he's, he's kind of taking care of everything on his own. Can we start making the rugs? Let's get this the rugs down. Caravan meeting by Diver's Caravan. Diver's Caravan has met peacefully with a caravan from the Guaca of the Trek. Crag. 
Uh, they have things to trade. We're going to move on. We're very much on, on a quest here. So I'm not going to rush it too much. I just want to make sure we... Ah, uh, you botched the construction. JD shouldn't be the one constructing. If there's anybody here who can do constructing, it's going to be... Silco. Silco should be the one that does the construction here. We just want to get rugs up because I'm, I'm walking away uh, confident that we're going to be able to rescue Greece here. And I hope it's true. I'm, I'm, I guess my only concern outside of turret placement when we eventually do arrive at the place where Greece is being held captive is the enemy that's guarding him. It's only one enemy. It could just be an, a schlub, a soldier. But if it's a mechanoid, that's where the, the panic sets in uh, for the crew as they round the corner. If they see a mechanoid patrolling uh, one, what do they want with Greece? Why would a mechanoid have taken Greece? They weren't the ones that even kidnapped him. So they must have acquired him via trade. Maybe under the auspice that they are humans and they lied to the ones who were trading, but they, they made the trade either way. Uh, maybe they just took him if that's if, if again, if that's mechanoids waiting there. But the, the hope here is that it's just a bunch of schlubs. One specifically who might be just good with tinkering around, came into contact, got Greece, maybe even trying to coerce Greece to join him. But C Greece, never letting go of hope, eventually reached out to the place he once called home. That's the fun part. So as this day wraps up and we move into the next day, this is the day we're going to be having to worry about and concern ourselves with uh, the rescue mission at hand. We are arriving today, towards the end of the day, back half. But we'll still be there. We can let this go, and I'm curious if they're moving yet. They might still be waking up. I wish they would just wake up. They've got plenty of food to get there and back. There they go, they're moving. All right, I'm so pumped. I cannot believe we still have Greece, man. You have no idea, that's insane to me. I hope we see the rest show up. Man, imagine if Alex was still alive. That would be wild. Okay, here we go. Generating new uh, map for encounter. Jump to location. Okay. Jet Bear. He's a spy. We have a battery here that we are potentially able to assault. Um, but m I think what we're going to want to do is come over here and try and, and level out this first and foremost, if we can. So why don't we move up this way? Move up here so the tarts can't see us. Move back, move back. Let him come this way. Let him come to us. Back up. Let him wheel around, wheel around the corner here. Let's pat happy over here. Down he goes. Okay, he's dead. Uh, okay, with that in mind, um, let's go ahead and um, let's let's move elbow a little bit outside. And we'll just go ahead and fire at him. Prison break. Wood are just trying to escape the prison. Um, interesting. There's not much I can really do about it right now. Okay, he's dead. Can we... Nope, nope, nope. How are we going to do this? Okay. Yes, I know we have a prison break game. Let's see. Oh, Crendor is actually trying to take care of him. He might actually win? Crendor is barely hurt. And he's down. Capture him. Okay. World. Zoom in here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, we need to work around here somehow to, t to take off this turret. We can actually break in from the back end if we're lucky enough. Mathis and Driver back up. Come back up here, rather. And I'd like you to take a shot at this, if you can. Oh, wait. We can just... We can't claim that, but we can claim this. Okay. It's off. Sneak in the back end. Happy, uh, let's just stay here. We should be able to just claim this. No, 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 elbow, elbow, elbow! Around the corner.
Okay, it's grease. No, 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 no. Get over here. Run. We're getting out of here. We've got you, Grease. Now let's get you the hell out. Grease, I want you to grab this gun. I want you to take these survival meals as well. Okay. We actually did it. Okay, 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 okay. How do I get you out of here? Reform caravan. There are still some enemies in this area? Do we actually have to take out this freaking turret? All right, let's work around. I want everybody taking this thing out. There we go. Now there's no enemies in the area. Let's get out of here. Reform the caravan. Everybody here, including Greece, uh, choose route. Back home, choose route, except everybody out home. Excellent. Zoom in, and we can unpause. Brains, off to you, it you go. Whew. We did it, man. We actually did it. We have Greece. Let's give Greece his bed before he even gets home. Can't, not until they're back. Well, now we just await their glorious return. Oh, Woodard died. Oh, well. We have a pirate merchant passing by. Let's see if they've got anything worth grabbing here. They have rhinoceroses? What? Really? Genuinely nothing much else other than a few components that we could use, but we're missing money. We could sell Krendor off for a hefty sum, but Krendor just proved his, her worth, rather, uh, by defending or fighting off the one that was uh, attempting to escape. Well, well, well. A recruiter named Soviet calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the Imp Crooks. We hate them. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He tells you he is 52 years old, but there's no time to collect any more information, as always. Be warned if you accept you have to fight them off five grenadiers. Honestly, we could probably do fine. I just don't know if I'm ready to take on somebody else when we're about to get our 10th uh, person. Double digits is kind of a lot. He's gonna have to scream in panic. Uh, the kind-hearted souls that are usually the ones to answer those calls are not here right now. Um, I'd rather just wait and ensure that we can handle everything. We have enough food to go around. Uh, you know, our farming situation is still good, but it could be probably a lot better. And we may need to expand outward uh, a bit as we gather more and more people for the colony. But here they are, the return to Area 51. I'm sure the whole while Greece is telling um, Mathis all about uh, how he got to where he was, how one man in the middle of the woods had him locked in a shack with turrets on both ends so he couldn't truly escape without endangering his whole life. Meanwhile, Mathis speaks of, of, of being a slave uh, all the way back. But most importantly, Mathis isn't filling him in on the folks he traveled here with, who he rescued them from, uh, and probably delivering the, the sad news that none of the original crew outside of him and, and Mathis are, are the ones that inhabit the colony now. The colony has expanded quite far um, and taken in quite a few new people all along the ways, but none of them are who he knows and the colony he may not even recognize, but he's just happy to be back. Uh, let's see, we've got the long range mineral scanner, uh, which is something we really need. Can be tuned to find specific minerals, requires advanced components to construct. I don't know if we have advanced components. Um, two advanced components, which we have, 200 steel, which we also have, uh, and then six regular components, which we could make work. I think, I think we put it, can we put it inside? No, it has to be outside. Okay, uh, let's keep it near the lab then. Let's go ahead and put it there. Um, but let's get Grease back in. Have him welcomed home. Uh, let's get him back on a schedule as well. Grease. Grease maintained his schedule from when he was last here. Oh, that's wild. I didn't even recognize. Mathis, too. I didn't even realize. Huh. Does Grease keep all of his... No, he does not keep all of his old limits here. Definitely want him to be a doctor. Bed rest. Basic. He's an okay warden. Um. How about plant cutting? Not great, but he is a good constructor. So let's go ahead and make that a two. Three can be cooking. Smithing and tailoring can definitely be two. Hauling a two and everything else can be a four and we can get him back in probably warning him of the traps as they walk in this whole thing wasn't really here last time around but everybody's back 
Everybody's happy. Including Happy. Except he's not. He's, he's gonna break. But either way. It's so good to have two of our original colony, colony members back. Didn't expect it to happen, but I'm happy it did. And so the colony, bigger than it's ever been, welcomes home two of its old colony members. It may not be the home they remember, but it's still much more of a home than the prison they were locked in. And those new ones that live here welcome them with open arms. I do wonder if we'll see um, Greece, now that he's back, head to the tomb that has been constructed and see Alex, uh, Northern Lion, and... Did they know Cracker? I don't know if they knew Crack if he knew Cracker, but he definitely knew the other two. I wonder if he'll go pay his respects to them at some point. I imagine he will. All part of returning home is to reacquaint yourself with what what you can. What? Oh, I guess that that's gonna be Greece's bed now. Meanwhile, Diver moved into the the room that's under construction. How kind of him! It's definitely a, a a nice gesture to do. I've decided to deconstruct this crypto sleep casket. We're desperate for components right now, and if we're ever going to look and find more uh, things out there, uh, more rare minerals, that kind of thing, um, we're going to need components. And I have no idea if this is going to provide any components. Likely it's not. Uh, but we're at a desperate, uh, desperate spot here. We need something. Uranium. It really is just uranium and steel. That is a, that is a bummer. Uh... He will never do hauling, unfortunately. But we did not get any components out of it, which is a shame. I don't know if it's random. But we might need to start doing some mining. Just to see if we can find any components. So, with that in mind, let's begin to just... Mine... Uh, little tunnels all the way through some of these areas. Just to see if we can kind of pick out components or um, rarer metals. Silver would even be acceptable so we can buy components since we're running so low on silver. Actually, we have 920 silver. Oh, the silver has to come out here. All right, let's storage. Let's turn off silver here. And let's just make sure it all goes here. Um, and we can have them move the silver outside. I just need them to move this silver. There we go. There we go. That's what I need to see. Meanwhile, we will uh, begin to mine into the depths of these areas. With all this silver, we definitely need to start buying components. I didn't realize that we didn't have all of our silver outside. That's on my that's my bad. Also, we're gonna have to move things out here if we want to end up selling them to anybody. Which I just realized. So one of the other things like I might want to do here is manufactured. Apparel. I don't want cl I don't want tainted apparel in here. I want it over here. Tainted apparel can be here. Uh, that way we can sell it off for some from some silver. A little bit of micromanagement that I haven't really done before. Just steps, progress. We struck compact machinery. We actually struck it. Oh, that's huge, man. The very thing we've been looking for, we finally, finally got. Um. That is fantastic. We have a minor, a major break risk. I guess he's bitching about being in pain. IEDs are done researching. Uh, why don't we go with hydroponics next? And we are getting a blight. A colonist has noticed blight on your crops. You should cut or burn the blighted plants before the blight spreads. Oh God. What do you mean before the blight spreads? It's all over the place already. The blight is already spreading. Uh, we're gonna have to freaking kill everything here. Uh, because if we cut this... Who's gonna do it? Yeah, they all have the blight. We're gonna have to cut everything. We have to wipe our own crops. Okay. Let's get everything cut. Start it down. War Merchant from Guac of the Crag. Uh, that could be good. We'll see how it goes. In the meanwhile, we need to wipe out our crops, basically. Heat wave. We should absolutely be turning on all of our ACs now. I did not realize uh, we were that close to summer. So all ACs should be turned on. Make sure everything's cool. Actually, we can keep that off. Components. Where's Mathis going? 
What is he doing? He's cowering? Oh, the mad rat. The mad rat scared him. What a baby. All right, and here he comes. Matt's the miner. Spent a lot of time doing that when you used to live here. But this is big. We need all the compact machinery we can get for our buildings here. Let's just get this done. JD's not a fast miner. Yo, we've got more over here. Oh, this is working out so well. Does that mean we can get our long range scanner built? I don't know. I'd like to. Yep, we struck more compact machinery. And a bandit camp request. True. Chief of the Neem of the Meadow has sent us a message. Apparently, bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy, which means eliminating enemies and targets. Uh, we get an anti-grain warhead. If we don't destroy the camp in 26 days, they will do it themselves. Uh, I don't know. We don't really need an anti-grain warhead. All right, Mathis, can you speak with one of them? Who, who's the one we talked to here? No one? Nobody here is a traitor? I don't know why nobody here we can trade with. How strange. Okay, they are actually building. And then we need to look for plasteel, I think. Here it is. Ah, just finished. There it is, baby. So. Plasteel is what we need. That's what we need to mark it at. We need to find ourselves plasteel. I don't think we can finish this without plasteel. So, uh, that's what we're going to turn that to. In the meantime, we're going to keep mining out our compact machinery here since we have the option to do it. Uh, and things are going to be looking good for us in the long run. I can't help but look at our colony now and feel uh, optimistic. <laughs>